This is Steven from Chainsaw Ace. Going to show you guys how to put a rope in a starter. This is actually off a, I think it is a Predator engine. Uh, it's like a Honda clone. So just going to show you how to put a rope in this really quick. Um, so the rope, here's the old rope. It's out. It's broken. You can see that right there. So we need to put a new rope back in here. So the first thing you're going to do, once you have your old rope out of it, that is, is you got to put some tension on the spring. So you can see how it pops back right there like that. So... Uh, so we're going to turn this until we get to uh, maximum spring load. And we're going to back off a little bit. So, okay, that's maximum load right there. And I need to find the actual hole for the rope. Okay, so we're going to come back around. So about right there. So when you do that, super, this is a pro tip. Take a small screwdriver, especially in these kind of these vents you just lodge it just like that and it keeps it lined up and with a hole uh to the rotor and we put our string in it so all right so now we need to burn the rope right here on the end so it doesn't fray so the easiest way of doing that is just get a torch burn it like that and you need to take a paper towel and just kind of straighten it out do it on both ends and you get that on your fingers, it hurts really bad, so try not to do that. So we got that, so okay. Now we're gonna take it, we're gonna put it in the hole of the starter, and you'll see it right here on the inside of the rope rotor, and you're gonna tie a knot pretty close to the end, not right on the end, but pretty close. Uh, somewhere right around here. That might, I believe that's okay. And usually when I do that, I'll take my torch and I'll just kind of heat the knot up a little bit. Just kind of make it bind a little bit. The plastic kind of melts into itself. And then I'll pull it into place just like that. Now, uh, what I'll do is, is I'll hold this side kind of tightly with my hand. And I'm going to see how far in it goes to make sure I got the length correctly. Done. Okay, so I got a little bit longer than I needed to, so you don't want it dangling too long. So I usually pull it out just a little bit like that, then put my handle on it. So here's my old handle. I'm going to pull the rope out of the old handle just like that. And I'm going to pull it out on the rotor and the rope until it has some tension on it. And then I'm going to feed it through the handle just like that. And I'm going to tie the knot right down here. And we should have it, and then we'll just cut off the excess rope. So let's see what that does. Uh, yeah, that's it right there. So I'm going to tie one more knot on top of that one just to see if it, so it'll never pull through just like that. And let's see. Okay, that's perfect. And we're going to cut the, cut the end off right here. And... And I'm gonna burn that, and we should be. All done, that's it. Again, thank you for watching. This is Steven from Chainsaw Ace, and uh, if you feel like it, uh, subscribe to the channel, man, and or, or lady, and uh, we'll be quite happy to have you. Thanks so much.